How you doing? My name is Kevin Lai. I am the support manager for Run Sign Up Ticket Sign Up. And today we have Matt Avery, who's our product manager for um, Race Day and all of our check in apps. And Avery is going to demonstrate uh, the ticket check in uh, point of sale square integration with us. Thanks for having me and go ahead and get started. So again, today we're just going to be going through how to set up your square device, um, one of these guys with um, the tickets app. So um, this is working with the fact that you are under the assumption that you have a ticket app installed and you have one of these uh, square readers. So let's get started. So um, I'll be showing you along on the device itself and going to walk you through how to set up the square reader and then I'll actually show you what a purchase would look like. Um, and the reason you might want to use this would be um, if you're, uh, you have an event and you want to do on-site sales for, you can use your um, cell phone or an iPad or anything like that, any mobile device you have, to um, have your um, attendees purchase tickets actually at the event instead of um, online beforehand. So it's a nice, easy process for if you need to take additional transactions on-site. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have my um, device here with uh, the Tickets app installed. You can install that from the iOS store or from the Google Play store. And I'm just going to search for my event. Now, I've already set up my event um, to be enabled for uh, the check-in app. And I have said that uh, I have enabled purchasing for it on my ticket uh, event dashboard. And I have um, logged into Square and everything like that on the ticket event dashboard already. So I should be all set and good to go. So now I'm gonna search for my event. It is the Halloween Haunt Fest in Richmond. And next I'm going to be authenticating. So I need to uh, log in with the password that was set up when I enabled this event for um, check in and purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my password now. Next, I'm going to make sure that I um, check this box to allow devices to make purchases. This is important. Um, it is required if you're going to be actually taking purchases on this device that you're setting up now. All right, I'm going to log in. And I have a configuration set up uh, for this event. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that haunt configuration that was set up for me. So now my um, event is customized so that my app experience is uh, what it needs to be for uh, the type of person who would be making purchases on device. So I see that I have a couple of ticket purchases that were made already in my check-in area. And if I slide over to the purchase tab, I would be able to go in and start purchasing. Now, if I were to try to go in and purchase right now, I'm not gonna be able to it's going to tell me that I have to authorize Square first. So um, for what I'll do is just follow this message that says I would like to authorize Square. Now, optionally, if you don't have a Square device, you can use cash payments or entering in um, credit card info manually just by pressing continue here. But if you do want to authorize with Square, just click that button to authorize Square. All right, and now I am at the event options page. And here I see a list of buttons. One of them is the square reader button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click square reader to get started with um, the connection. So here uh, I have a square reader page and I'm gonna go ahead and click connect a reader. So we'll see um, here, uh, this page tells me to press and hold the button on my reader until the lights flash orange then release the button and place the reader next to the device to pair. So there's a little button right here, and we're gonna click that and just wait until I start seeing orange flashes. And I'm gonna let go, and it is going to connect. Uh, now it's probably gonna ask for permission, so I'm gonna say, yes, you have permission, and pair and connect. And agree to any terms and conditions and check any boxes you need to. It may look a little, di little bit different depending on Android or iOS. But it will eventually go through, and now it says that my contactless reader is connected and ready. So I can exit out here, and now I'm ready to go back into purchase. So now at this point, uh, I'm able to actually complete a store purchase or a ticket purchase in the app. So um, for this particular event, I have a few different categories. I've got um, October 1st tickets, 2nd, 7th, and so on. So I'm just going to go and select... Um, 
a general ticket for October 1st. Continue. And I'm going to add on a store item, so I'm going to get a drink. And finally, I'm on the purchase summary page. So here, I'm just going to accept the terms and conditions and select the button to pay now with Square. So this will bring me to um, a Square landing page where I can charge my $2 to my connected Square device. Click that. And now I'm going to, uh, you can tap or insert to pay on Square. You can also do a couple other things. You can use the uh, split functionality to split a purchase between multiple transactions. If um, a bunch of people are uh, purchasing tickets together and they want to split it 50-50, you can do that. You can use cash payments if you want to, or you can manually enter the credit card. Today, we're just going to show off the, um, the tap or the uh, insert. So let's just go ahead and insert my card here. And it just tells me that um, it's preparing the payment, it's authorizing, and it has gone through. So now I can just go ahead and remove the card, and I can get a receipt um, to an email, a text, or a no receipt at all. So I'm just going to do uh, email and send that receipt over. So now um, I've completed my ticket purchase. It'll go through and tell me here that my tickets have been confirmed. Now, if I have set up a printer, I also am able to print out a label that will have the ticket purchase confirmation code embedded in it. So if um, this ticket purchaser uh, at a later point in the event you have needs to be scanned for any reason um, so that they can look up uh, store purchases that they've made on this ticket, um, they can use that QR code on the label that's print out, printed out to identify the ticket purchase. So um, now we are all set. So if I needed to, I can go ahead and click New Purchase, and we will um, get started on the next purchase. So uh, with our application, you can do uh, ticket purchases, and you can also do standalone store purchases. So if you just select the Store option here, this is for um, items that you want to just sell one-offs of. You don't care about um, relating them to a ticket purchase. It's just this person's going to walk up and purchase some drinks. You can just really easily um, add them here and purchase them in the same way you do with standard tickets. So that's kind of the uh, demo and walkthrough of how to enable your Square Reader on the Tickets app and how to um, do store purchases and ticket purchases with that Square Reader. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to learn more about future updates. Uh, if you have any questions about your event, um, feel free to send us an email at info at ticketsignup.com. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Consider subscribing is words that do not come out of my mouth very well. Consider, it's like a lot of S's. Yeah.